The, the teachers will be returning on March 25th and 26th. Okay. We have uh, put the students into two groups. So the first group that will return will be freshmen, seniors, and students in our SOAR and Success program. Uh, and they will return starting uh, April 19th. Uh, that group is halved. So group A, which is letters A through L, will be in on Mondays and Tuesdays. We'll continue our Student Success Wednesdays where everybody's remote. And then the second half of the alphabet, uh, M through Z, will be in attendance Thursday and Friday. And then the following week, the 26th, we're gonna bring in the sophomores and juniors. Capacity. Right, yeah, we, we've made sure that at any one point, no more than 30% of the student population is in the building at one time. We have uh, had our HVAC system kind of evaluated and they've upped the air intake and exhaust. So we are certified as a safe environmentally. Uh, the student classrooms, uh, desks are either spaced six feet apart or some of them are taped off so that students don't get within six feet of each other. Um, the cafeteria, it's going to be one student per table. So in a way, it, it, I feel bad for the kids because they long the so, you know, they really miss the social interaction and it's not going to be what they expect, I, I fear. But we're, we're erring on the side of caution. Well, we're, we're limiting visitors completely. Uh, so unless it's absolutely essential, you know, nobody's going to get past the front desk. Uh, Student-wise, um, it looks like 16 and up are going to be authorized, maybe like mid-April or May, so we'll encourage that. Um, and the same thing with faculty, they've all had the opportunity to have been vaccinated through our local uh, designated site, but it won't be required. TF South was designated as a, the uh, first designated vaccination site, so it was designed just to get educators shot in the arm. Um, which started locally and then spread to the 66 districts in the South Cook Cooperative and um, has gradually expanded to others that are in eligible groups like municipal employees. Um, and hopefully, fingers crossed, it, it will become more of a community site one of these days. The uh, Cook County Health and National Guard have been amazing to work with. They're top-notch individuals. Yeah, I, I'll never forget the day that this all started when they were loading things in and pulling up and seeing the National Guard deployed to TF South. I almost got emotional. We, we gave the SAT to seniors and I've never seen kids more excited to come in to take a standardized test just because they got to see each other. And so I, I hope that enthusiasm carries over into classroom interactions. And my goal as principal is always for the school to be the lighthouse in the community, not just Lansing, but Linwood too. And being able, <clears throat> being able to provide vaccinations for educators in this area and um, hopefully others soon, it just feels good.